justice for all or justice for no? You don't can ask for something you are not willing to give. That's immoral. Asking for things you are not are willing to give is been civilized. Claiming you want to get respect and a fair treatment, but not are willing to treat others the same way. Saying animals are objects, commodities, food, clothing, or entertainment. And self opposing the same kind of treatments when your race or sex is treated in that way. And that opposing. Feminism is not about alone only about white middle class women. It is about all kinds of women. And if we look to where most feminists are against, uh, one of the topics, for example, um, female exploitation of um, reproduction um, organs, something that the dairy industry is an expert in, in exploiting the female uh, reproducing organs. Let me be honest, cows are females and are only can give milk when they are pregnant. Therefore, some uh, psycho or farmer have to impregnate her against her will, something I call rape. Rape is, in my opinion, forceful penetration. The cow is not um, saying exploit me. And, the, and therefore, feminists have to look better up on this topic. Because dairy farming is one feminist issue. You call it maybe crazy because there are not from our species but you also can say maybe that uh, when you are in the 18th century when black people were not considered humans uh, according to the law at least and blacks were ser serfs bondmen and Chattel. Chattel and cattle come from the same words. Come all both from the Latin word capitala, which can be translated as property. And that's one of the reasons also why black people should to give about the rights of animals. Because just like animals, blacks were also one time seen as commodities and white people sometimes rape them also there are actually even uh, camps um, for homosexual slave owners where they can rape uh, and molest blacks in that town and they say that it's not homosexual for example, I suggest but they're still raping the blacks and they say that they're doing it because they want to punish and humiliate the slaves. If you want to know more about it, check the link in the description below. I will not make excuses for what my race have done. Just like I don't want to make excuses for what my species do to animals. And um, if you say that some of the things I say are hateful, for example, that I compare animals to the legal person, how I consider not humans, but hominids, because 
the words human and humane are, if you look to the etymology, the same words. Only around the 19th century, um, slave masters are starting to use it differently to um, say, to look to the positive articles of our PC. Uh, of the um, of the slave masters and not uh, negative, uh, but before that they used the words interchangeable. So as you can see in, uh, for example, in books uh, from um, Uncle Tom's Caravan, I think. Yes. If you want to know more about this topic, I have a video about the, where I com uh, about slavery, where I compare um, hominid slavery, black slavery, uh, to the animal slavery, where I also use some quotes from um, Frederick Douglass and some other slave liberationists. But what I want to say, if you find that what I say is offensive, think about this. Do you not think that slave masters of the 19th century find it offensive when they are compared whites with blacks? Because their propaganda was that whites are so much more superior to them than blacks, and blacks are just uh, savages. There are at least uh, some subhumans or something like that. They are not humans, they are more like beasts. That's what, the, what was the propaganda of the slave masses, like uh, Hammond, the governor of the South. I was a bigot. It's like you when you say that because. Animals are in some ways different than us. Reasons how are arbitrary. And I have no more far than that say that since blacks have a lower IQ, for example, uh, than whites. If you look to the statics. But um, whites have the right to enslave uh, blacks. The most funniest thing is that then Asian people have the right to enslave us <laughs> because they have the highest IQ of all. For example, uh, people um, in uh, Hong Kong, the highest IQ on planet. Do you want to add, um, the Chinese overlords take over this place? <laughs> of course not. Don't be ridiculous. So now that we know that intelligence is a very bad indicator of consideration for more power. Look we let me look to a better criteria. That a creature can suffer. That they can feel pain and and a lot more different kinds of emotions. Just like us. Pigs, chickens, turkeys etc. can feel and so are aware, like um, scientists, neuroscientists uh, have, um, say, when they wrote the Cambridge Declaration of Consciousness in 2012. And there are more than 2,500 studies that prove that animals are conscious and aware to the decree to the decree that we claim that we are. That I don't can do mathematics on the same uh, decree that a neuroscientist can do. There's no name that are deserving no more final. That's a very bad criteria. So, feminists and black people go vegan and stop 
displaying the same kind of hatred and bigotry. That um, white people and misogynists have done to you. Kindness should always trump systematic oppression, torture, rape, and murder and commodification. Do you agree? Go vegan, what's the excuse for costing the least amount of harm possible on this planet? <laughs>